Good day beauties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Um, please be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when I post. Um, I post about jamboree, mostly manicure tips and stuff like that, but today I'm doing something different. Oh my goodness. So I recently discovered Colourpop. And I know that most of you already know about Colourpop if you've been on the planet for the last, I don't know, because I don't know how long it's been around, but I'm from Australia and we don't get Colourpop in Australia unless I guess you're in the YouTube sphere and maybe you do, maybe you understand it. But in Australia, there's no stores we can walk into and get Colourpop. So I've been seeing all of these YouTubers doing all these amazing makeup designs and stuff with Colourpop and I thought oh my god I have to try it so I placed an order and today I just wanted to do a honest review on one product um, and that is the I can't remember what it's called ultra glossy lip um, but I wanted to tell you very quickly so my general makeup routine is mm, um, a little bit not very consistent. Um, so I usually buy my stuff from what Americans call the drugstore. Here in Australia, it's like Coles and Woolies and Priceline and wherever, Chemist Warehouse and stuff. So it's your Maybellines and your whatevers. And I've never had great success with them. I have Fallout, I have, it's terrible. Um, so when I saw Colourpop, I was like, okay, okay, looks really good, I'll give it a go. So I wanted to give my honest review. So I. Um, I'm not affiliated at all with Colourpop. Colourpop. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. Uh, Colourpop, by the way. I'm not affiliated with Colourpop. Um, so this is just me wanting to share something that I found and that most of you already know about. But my Aussie subscribers possibly won't. Um, so listen up. So I placed an order. I'm so excited and it arrived oh my god it is beautiful I've never got anything so pretty in the mail before like ever ever so I got the Disney designer um, this it's a princess um, oh, eyeshadow I've, you, there are heaps of people that have reviewed this of course and like look at it it's all pinks and pretties and I did this with it now I'm gonna try and like show you but I know other girls do this and they like look sultry down and they look all pretty and yeah I can't do that and I know that this is supposed to be princessy right like look at the shades they're so princessy and I've gone like dark um, so I know a smoky eye these days in the whatever century we are right now it's all about your browns and smoking it out and being really like kind of um suggestive rather than like smoky like literal that's the word i was looking for literal um but i'm from the 90s and i know that a black smoky eye is super 90s i'm a 90s chick and i'm not going to apologize for it so i created this one with the It's a Princess palette. If you wanted to see me do a, um, what do you call it? A tutorial on that. I am not a makeup artist, guys. I have lines, I have crow's feet, I have dark circles. So um, I am very, very real. So I'm not at all specialized in doing that. But if you wanna see um, how I've used this, then I'm more than happy to do that. I also got, give it to me straight. Oh, love this this is all very pinky I'm just gonna show you I'm not gonna swatch anything because there are millions of videos out there of all of these sorry I'm throwing shit around um there we go so pretty um there's so many videos of people swatching this um so if you want to see swatches and I have not got the best um track record with swatching so oh this is a burn by the way I burnt myself um this here Mackenzie and I, that's my daughter, went to the shops the other day and we were swatching the hell out of things. And this is what happened to one of, like, from one of the things I swatched. Thank goodness I never bought it. I don't know which one it was, but it was so itchy afterwards for like hours. So I guess that's why you're supposed to test it before you put it in your eye area. I don't. I just shove it straight on. Um, anyway, that's a whole nother story. But 
I have a really sensitive skin. So um, yeah, anything that's, that's not, um, that's too harsh, I can't wear and I'm gonna break out and all that sort of stuff. So I'm excited that I haven't broken out from this at all. Um, and then I got like a lip crayon, I think this is. But anyway, I wanna to talk to you all about this baby. I'm so excited. Okay, so I love lip gloss. But I have a love-hate relationship with lip gloss. Lip gloss. Um, it's so sticky, right? Like every single one I try. I love the way it goes on. So this one here is the Disney designer. And I love the little... Like I love these things with the little paintbrushy or like spongy paintbrush on the end. I love that. I love that it's not like lipstick. I don't wear lipstick. It leaves my lips feeling funny and it just rubs off anyway and it just drives me crazy because then I end up with like patchy so I do like I do really love a lip gloss I love like glossy lips I, and I lick my lips all the time so lip gloss comes off quite easily but I hate sticky lip glosses and I have not been able to find I still buy a million of them by the way but I've not been able to find one that's not sticky like the worst thing about lip gloss is when you're in a windy situation you got your gorgeous lip gloss on and it's all like sparkly and one, it tastes weird too, but, and like your hair goes in your face like this and it gets stuck in your lip gloss and then all your hair gets all like manky on the side. Yeah, that happens to me. Anyway, so <laughs> I don't know why out of anything I ordered a lip gloss, maybe because it was pretty. Like this one is from the Disney designer collection and it's called Bobbity. Um, there's three colors, three, that's not three. Three colors, Bibbidi, Bobbidi, and Boo. I think Bibbidi, I think Bib, I think this one's sold out now. Bobbidi, I think Bobbidi has sold out. I might be wrong, um, but there's still Bibbidi, which is the just clear with glossy. I don't know if I, uh, with um, glitter. I don't know if I want to get that one, but I probably will. And then there's Boo, which is like this, kind of shade but it's in like a pink color so I really like that one and I really want to get that one and I probably will um but so I tried this for the first time yesterday because my beautiful box arrived in the mail and I fell in love oh my god guys I fell in love like the color's beautiful but it's not sticky oh, I'm so excited and it smells awesome and it tastes quite nice too and I, no, I'm not eating it, of course, but I lick my lips all the time and it gets that taste on it. And I just, yeah, it's not like some of them that makes my stomach growl when I've licked off all my lip balm or lip gloss. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you. So, I don't use much. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty and it's not sticky. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. So anyway, that's it. That's my honest review on it. I love it. I popped it on this morning. I, it didn't really, it lasted through a couple of hours and then I ate something and I kind of reapplied it. I reapply my lip gloss all the time. So that wasn't exactly like a, a disappointment at all, but like the packaging it comes in guys is just gorgeous it's just gorgeous and oh the best part which i forgot to tell you guys this is seven us dollars so like in australian that's like 10 bucks you cannot get a decent lip gloss that doesn't um get all sticky and yucky for less than that so and like their palettes like this disney palette is like 22 dollars us it's nuts, like I can't get over it. I spend a fortune. So I bought this one the other day, a Tarte one, which by the way, like how cool is that? That's so cool. I, okay, so I was probably conned in by how pretty it was. So I bought this, which by the way, I mean, some of these have pressed glitter in it. So of course, useless, can't actually use it on my eye at all, right? This cost me like 65 or 70 bucks from, I think it was Sephora. And when you convert it like into Australian, this is like less than $32. 
and it's gorgeous and they are so pigmented and amazing and anyway I will come back and do another because I'm going to start doing a series if you guys want of Manny's makeup so I will match my Manny to my makeup and it should be fun I think it'll be fun so anyway that's that's it I'm gonna wrap this up and stop jabbering on but I'm in love Colourpop is like now my jam Jamboree's my jam but Colourpop is now also my jam I'm so excited please let me know if you've tried Colourpop and what you think and what your favorite products are because I definitely need inspiration and am more than happy to buy more. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so excited and if you guys want to see more, thank you so much for stopping by. Please be sure to subscribe underneath, um, turn on the notifications when you know, so you know when my next uh, video will be uploaded. I always upload on a Thursday. I try to upload one to two videos a week. Um, some of them will be jamboree, some of them will be maybe a little bit of makeup, but be warned, I'm not a makeup artist. I have not perfect everything and I struggle to cover these dark circles and all of this. So, <laughs> um, but it will be honest, take it as you get kind of makeup stuff. <laughs> um, that's it from me guys. Okay. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I will pop all the links to what I got. And if you guys want to see me swatch any of this or do a tutorial or whatever, please sing out. I have another, I like ordered again straight away. So I have another order coming. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> and I will be back with more. Thanks so much guys. Bye.